This is USMLE QA, USMLE material presented in a question and answer format structured similar to the first aid for the USMLE Step 1 book. Question, what is abetalipoproteinemia? Answer, abetalipoproteinemia is a genetic disorder caused by a mutation in the gene that encodes microsomal transfer protein. Question, what is the mode of inheritance for abetalipoproteinemia? Answer, abetalipoproteinemia is an autosomal recessive disorder. Question, what lipoproteins are absent in abetalipoproteinemia? Answer, chylomicrons 495 and LDL are absent in individuals with abetalipoproteinemia. Question, what is the deficiency in abetalipoproteinemia? Answer, abetalipoproteinemia is characterized by a deficiency in a POB48 and a POB100 containing lipoproteins. Question, what are the symptoms in infants with abetalipoproteinemia? Answer, infants with abetalipoproteinemia present with severe fat malabsorption, steatorrhea, and failure to thrive. Question, what are the later manifestations of abetalipoproteinemia? Answer, later manifestations of abetalipoproteinemia include retinitis pigmentosa, spinostrobular degeneration due to vitamin E deficiency, progressive ataxia, and acanthocytosis. Question, what is seen in an intestinal biopsy of individuals with abetalipoproteinemia? Answer, an intestinal biopsy in individuals with abetalipoproteinemia shows lipid-laden enterocytes. Question, what is the treatment for abetalipoproteinemia? Answer, the treatment for abetalipoproteinemia involves restriction of long-chain fatty acids and large doses of oral vitamin E. Question, what causes abetalipoproteinemia? Answer, abetalipoproteinemia is caused by a mutation in the gene that encodes microsomal transfer protein. Question, is abetalipoproteinemia a common disorder? Answer, the exact prevalence of abetalipoproteinemia is unknown but it is considered a rare disorder. Question, what are the initial symptoms of abetalipoproteinemia? Answer, the initial symptoms of abetalipoproteinemia include severe fat malabsorption, steatorrhea, and failure to thrive in infants. Question, what are the long-term effects of abetalipoproteinemia? Answer, the long-term effects of abetalipoproteinemia include retinitis pigmentosa, progressive ataxia, and spinostrobular degeneration. Question, can abetalipoproteinemia be diagnosed in a blood test? Answer, yes, abetalipoproteinemia can be diagnosed through a blood test that measures the levels of lipoproteins in the blood. Question, is there a cure for abetalipoproteinemia? Answer, currently, there is no cure for abetalipoproteinemia. Treatment involves managing the symptoms and preventing further complications. Question, can abetalipoproteinemia be prevented? Answer, abetalipoproteinemia is a genetic disorder and cannot be prevented. However, early diagnosis and proper treatment can help manage the symptoms and prevent further complications. Question, is abetalipoproteinemia a life-threatening condition? Answer, while abetalipoproteinemia can lead to serious health complications, it is not considered a life-threatening condition. Question, can abetalipoproteinemia be treated with medication? Answer, yes, abetalipoproteinemia can be treated with large doses of oral vitamin E and restriction of long-chain fatty acids. Question, how does abetalipoproteinemia affect the body? Answer, abetalipoproteinemia affects the body by leading to a deficiency in lipoproteins, which results in fat malabsorption, steatorrhea, and other symptoms. Question, what is the prognosis for individuals with abetalipoproteinemia? Answer, the prognosis for individuals with abetalipoproteinemia varies depending on the severity of the condition and the presence of other health complications. Proper treatment and management can help improve the prognosis. Question, can abetalipoproteinemia be passed on to future generations? Answer, yes, abetalipoproteinemia Proteinemia is an autosomal recessive disorder, which means it can be passed on to future generations through gene inheritance. Question, is there a connection between abetalipoproteinemia and vitamin E deficiency? Answer, yes, abetalipoproteinemia can lead to a deficiency in vitamin E, which can result in further health complications such as spinostrobular degeneration. Thank you for watching our Q&A format video. We hope this helped you learn, review, and retain knowledge needed for the USMLEs. For more information on this topic, check out the link in the description. Now, if you want to take your USMLE prep to the next level, be sure to check out all our courses, which are structured to follow along with the first aid for the USMLE Step 1 book. You can find us at usmleqa.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe.